In this video, we'll be taking a look at Issues Dashboard on DNA Center. So one can dive into the Issues Dashboard by clicking on View Details under Critical Issues. And then this is the Open Issues Dashboard. By default, you'll be seeing the global site view. In case if you want to look at a specific site, one can go ahead and do that by clicking on the Apply Filter and immediately you'll start seeing issues for a specific site. And there's option to return to the global site again. And this is the uh, time travel option where we store all the issues for the last 14 days. And in case if you want to go back in time and look up issues for a specific date or time, you can do that as well. And another interesting feature is the most impacted areas by issue priority. So in this case, you can see that there are five open issues uh, under Palo Alto. Uh, and there are 35 open issues under San Francisco. So Palo Alto takes precedence, the reason being it has five P2 issues, whereas San Francisco doesn't have any P1 or P2 issues. And if you click on Palo Alto, automatically you will start seeing issues uh, related to Palo Alto and the most impacted buildings under Palo Alto as well. And then if you click again, it will drill down further to the floors and reset back again and this is the heat map the issues heat map let's click on seven days and then if you hover you will start seeing you can look up issues as you hover and the best part is if you double click you will start seeing those specific issues and one can also increase the filter by doing this as well And reset again back here and this is a filter to look up issues based on priority so if you want to look up issues based on uh, priority if you just want to look up p2 issues you can click here and then you will start seeing only p2 issues if we click on ai driven filter we filter out and show issues which have been generated by ai ml engine on cloud you can also see that there is a ai prefix before the issue Let's take an example of one of the P2 issues here, which is uh, a P-down issue. You can see that the issue has occurred 14 times in the last 7 days at 4 different sites and on 9 different access points. Let's click on a P-down and you can see that all the 9 different access points where the issue has occurred and also if you click on one of the issue, we show you even the AP up down chart and also the floor map which will give us the location of the access point which has gone down as well. Apart from that we also give you suggestive actions which can be useful for further troubleshooting. So since DNA Center has complete information of all the network devices and the related configurations we give you troubleshooting options as well. So here let's take an example where it says check whether PoE is enabled on the switch on the specific port. Let's run this. So one doesn't have one doesn't even have to remember the command. So it directly runs and then gives you output from that particular switch as well. So let's talk about another feature called bulk resolve and bulk ignore. So one can do that by clicking on all the issues and in case if you want to resolve those issues, you can do them uh, using the bulk resolve capability. Or in case if you are expecting a maintenance window where you just want to ignore uh, specific issues for a certain period of time, you can do that as well. There is a feature to even auto resolve issues. Currently we support auto resolve capability uh, only for device reachability and link availability related issues. Uh, let's take an example of AP down issue. If there is an AP down on your network, we see an issue getting generated on DNA Center. And uh, if the same AP comes back up, uh, we hold that issue for a while and then uh, auto resolve that issue. So one can confirm that 
by clicking on one of the resolved issues and if your issue is being resolved by the system which means that it was uh, resolved by DNA Center and also there is an option to even subscribe to events via email so one can do that by clicking on system settings and make sure that you configure your SMTP server settings before uh, subscribing to the events so you can configure the uh, SMTP server settings here and then subscribe to events on by clicking onto this tab so you can click on the event if you want to subscribe and click on subscribe and then select the email option here so once you do that uh, you will start uh, getting emails if in case if this particular event occurs on your network and the last piece is the issue customization so one can customize their issues as well so one can do that by clicking on manage and going to issue settings so in total we support close to uh, 183 issues on DNA Center and then let's click on one one of the examples here which is AP CPU high utilization and there's option there's on off button as well if you want to disable the issues uh, you can certainly do that and also there's option to uh, uh, prioritize the issues you can uh, for now it's p3 in case if you think you want to make it to p2 you can certainly do that and also there's option to change the trigger condition as well so in this case uh, it says the CPU utilization of access point above 90% so in case if you want to reduce it to 80% so that the trigger condition uh, changes as well there's an option to go back to the default setting as well.